Hello guys and welcome to another video and welcome to another week of daily races and in this week we got Nürburgring Sprint version and here we got group 3 and setups are partially allowed. So this means that we somehow need to figure out what's the best setup and on top of that I had to figure out what is the best car so I decided to go with this AMG. And in the end, this lap was P12 in the world. Also, uh, AMG 2020 version is P1 in the world at this point. So I slightly changed the setup. Yeah, the setup is a bit twitchy, so it needs a little bit more adjustment, but it got me, you know, it actually got me P12 in the world. So I would say that it's a pretty decent one. I don't think it matters that much which one you think, but this was kind of a little bit more than I expected. It gave me a little bit more speed through the corners. So here, a hundred meter sign, this is the first breaking point, breaking the straight line, and as soon as you see the end of the curb started turning in and downshifting into first, some like to upshift in second, some like to just put the power down at first, I do it in second gear and just like to follow this line. So get as close as possible to the right, and then this is your turning section or your turning point. A little bit of braking coming in just before the curb, second gear on the way out, and as soon as you get kind of close to this curb, upshift in the third, just as I did here. And this, once again, is your next reference point or your next braking point. And as soon as it gets out of your sight, you start braking and turning at the same into the corner while downshifting. So this is a pretty difficult one. Second gear, just kind of sliding your way out of this corner and third gear on the way out of this section. So basically, you're trying to prevent the car from sliding too much. You can do it in second, but I think third one is the best option here. This is a difficult one. I still don't know what is the best line, but I think this one going a little bit wider is. So breaking at 100, cutting it in really, really soon, and then going slightly wide, preparing the car for the exit in second gear, and then just shooting your way out of the corner. So basically, when you get halfway there, just put the power down and the car should be able to get there. So here, we are actually using the line as a reference, because it's not exactly the GP version of the track, so usually you break at 100. Here, it's second, on the way out it's third I think you can stay in second I don't think it's gonna matter that much and now and this is the reference point. This is the point where I just want to turn in and break at the same time You can see that the braking is going to about 30-40% that if you do 50 like I did here, I think it's slowing down the car too much So make sure that you reach 30 or 40 percent that's I would say with turning it's just about good enough and here once again this is the most difficult part of the whole circuit a hundred meter sign here this is where you break in the straight line don't turn now 50 you pass the 50 and now you reach this point this is your turning point and as soon as you reach this turning point you start downshifting you can downshift a little bit sooner a little bit later and now second gear on the way out to stabilize the car and shooting your way out of this corner in third gear you can stay in second but i decided to exit in third so here once again this can really break your lap here turn and break at the same time to about 70 80 percent and then downshifting into second you can even downshift in the first but just make sure that the car is straightened up in that second gear and then put the power down so it's going to give you a lot more stability and on top of that the wheels will not spin and you will get enough traction to actually make it out of the turn so i think this was a pretty decent one i think the setup can be eventually upgraded it can be better but as it is, as it stands right now, I think this is a pretty decent lap and it should give you a good result in the end. I just have to highlight one thing. In the race, I would suggest using a GTR or a Porsche 911. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed in this video. So if you did, you can even smash a like button or you might even want to subscribe to the channel. So until the next time, bye. But hello there. It's slightly faster, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Six eight nine. 
Six eight nine. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. So six eight.